All right, problem five. I wrote out all this, <laughs> all this stuff, uh, so I have it easy to access. And it asks us to come up with trees that will show us how to get specific outputs from this, this language. Um, so, I guess maybe you might be a little bit confused by the syntax here, but the idea is that like these things, these uh, greater than, less than thingamajiggers, represent like something that can be replaced. So ID would get replaced by some ID and boolean. You know, over here we get replaced by some boolean. These are ors, so it's like this could be a true or a false, and this number could be a zero or a one or a two or three or a seven or a four to three. These quotation marks are just to show that it's a literal thing, like not something that gets replaced. Um, and let's just get into the problem. So I asks us to figure out how we could get 43. Oh, is there, a, is there more to this problem? Right, so an expression is an ID or a number or a Boolean or a Lambda expression or a procedure call or an if expression. And it's asking us from expression, how can we get 43? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, we just need it to be a number. An expression can be a number. So I would say it's maybe something like exp goes to number goes to 43. Easy enough, right? I think they got harder. Um, the next one is if equals y, z, 1, 0. So I'm going to be looking for some sort of if thing in my expression. They have an if expression. If I look at if expressions, they look like they have this pretty general syntax. Uh, this equals y, z in parentheses will probably be this first expression. The second expression will be 1, and this will be 0. Um, I just need to figure out how to get that this expression here to be equal y, z. That's probably like a, a procedure call, right? Or a, What's a procedure call? Expression, expression, and then there's a star here, I think, indicating that this could be repeated for you know, the number of arguments in a procedure call. So I think this will match, match this thing here. Um, I don't know how to really write out that I'm getting multiple expressions in there, but maybe we'll just, we'll just go with it. So I get this from expression, the calling if expression. which goes to, uh, and then this needs, this calls expression three more times, right? So, right, the first one of those, well, let's deal with the, these guys first. This expression we'll call number, which we'll call one. This will also call number which will go to zero. This expression will be a procedure call. Procedure call calls expression. Uh, well, we'll say this procedure call, this particular procedure call is going to be with uh, three, oh no. Um, can an expression be an equal sign? Ooh. Where's my equal sign? An ID. An expression can be an ID, so that'll work. So my procedure call turns into, we'll say we have three expressions here. And then each of these three expressions, this one will turn into an ID, which is equals. This one will turn into a uh, another ID that's y and then z. So all of these turn into ids. This one turns into y, turns into z. Okay, nice. You can see everything. Move on to the third one. And it's this lambda x two parentheses at the beginning, plus x7, 3. I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. It's going to take a little bit longer. Um, start with an expression. I'm betting that I'm going to have to do something like, a, what's it called, lambda expression here. 
what I'm going to get. Oh, well, I have two parentheses. So this set of parentheses on the inside is probably going to be uh, my lambda expression because uh, oh, I did not explain this super well. Uh, if I start with a lambda expression, I don't think I'm going to have any way to put two parentheses, two opening parentheses here. Uh, so I think what I need to do is put a, an expression inside an expression, and I can do that with a procedure call. Uh, so this procedure call will have two expressions inside of it, one of them which will be this three, one of them will be the lambda. So this we'll call expression and expression. This expression will return number, or we'll go to number, we'll go to three. This expression will be a lambda expression. Uh, which will ask for formals and expression. The formals here is x. Uh, and formals can be an expression in parentheses. So this will get formals, which calls expression again, uh, which turns into x because it goes to id. And then this lambda expression will also call expression, which will give me this guy, because it calls a procedure call, which asks for as many expressions as I want, at least one. I need three, one for the plus, one for the x, one for the seven. So three expressions. One for the plus, which I get to from ID. One for the X, which I get to from ID also. And one for the seven, which I get to from number. Okay. I think I did it. Is that all of pi? Oh, I think it asked about reverse languages. I don't know, that's always on the practice test, never on the actual test, but the idea is like, if I take one of these things and I reverse them, it's still, it's still fine. I don't know what would make it not fine, but, um, or you know, not a valid language, but this, if I reversed all these things, I think would be a valid language. No reason, you know, like reverse the literal order of like all, you know, like turn this into, that would still be fine to put here. Anyway, uh, I think that's all of five, and I'll see you in six.